What's going on guys, Flying DBZ here, and we're back for another Pokemon, no, okay, I was about to say Pokemon Masters, but not doing Pokemon Masters today. We are going to be doing a Pokemon collection video. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing more Pokemon card videos, definitely let me know down in the comments below, uh, because I've been meaning to do videos like this, uh, but if you guys are interested, let me know, and I'll definitely do a lot more videos like this. Uh, because of course like when it comes to Pokemon Masters or just with any game in general There's gonna be times where it's gonna be super super dry and I don't want to force out content on uh, On a game when it's like at a dry period because then that would just sort of like not really make it that much fun to record So like on those kind of times then I want to try to do like something like this like this like uh, with the, the Pokemon cards and everything like I definitely want to expand a little bit more on uh, on Pokemon and uh, not just stick with Pokemon Masters. Now, of course, that's still going to be the main thing I'm going to be doing on the channel. But when there's dry periods, then I'm going to be doing Pokemon card openings and uh, just all that stuff. Now, if you guys are interested, definitely let me know. But if you are not, I won't be doing very many of these videos in the future. But, uh, but like I said, let me know in the comments and uh, we'll go from there. But today we're going to be doing uh, my collection. Uh, so we're going to be going through my collection, just, not all of it, like not all of it, but just what, what's on these piles right here. Now the left side is going to be the, uh, the cards that I'm actually going to be sending to PSA. And uh, this side over here, the right side, the right side is going to be uh, just like cards I'm going to be showing you that uh, they're actually rare. Uh, like rare, like uh, EXs, VMAXs, not VMAXs, but V cards and uh, full arts and stuff like that. But these will have like, it's going to be a nice mix, but, uh, but anyways. We are going to start off with uh, the right side uh, because like of course like with these ones getting sent to PSA that I'm going to send um, Obviously I'm going to be having that one for the last uh, for the last but anyways, let's get into it now uh, So for this side over here for the for most of the cards uh, like at least uh, like th that amount is going to be like promo So I'm just going to blast through it so that we can get to the other one. So We got uh, crowd on EX and he's nothing special uh, he's just here because like he has uh, uh, some significance for me because of uh, uh, personal stuff. So like he's one of the reasons why I, I, I really like that car or I really like that car because of personal reasons. So of course we're all going to have those uh, cars but we also have Mewtwo, EX and uh, like I got a lot of promos. And then Volcano, Volcano is probably like one of my, va my favorite uh, uh, promo cars in tins that you can get. And of course, uh, okay, so we got Black Kirim over here, and he's one of my favorite, favorite cards because of just how much uh, significance he has in my life. Because, like, this was the card that really first started uh, me getting back into collecting Pokemon cards years ago. Um, but, oop, I kind of messed up there. <laughs> um, but, like, he was the very first card, that, or the first tin. Um, an EX card that I got to get back into collecting Pokemon cards because when I was in school I didn't have a full-time job So I was sort of tight on money because I didn't want to keep asking my parents for money because I wanted to get Pokemon cards So all of these cards that I got was uh, because of me uh, working part-time and stuff like that. So But that doesn't matter <laughs> uh, But like he was the reason why I got back into collecting Pokemon cards. So that's why like I'm actually probably gonna put them put him in the pile where I'm gonna send him off to PSA even though he might get like a PSA 6 or something like that he's just there for uh, personal reasons and that's why like we all have those cards that are definitely gonna have whole like a lot of value to us and then we have white Kyurem so I have both of them which is very nice um, and then we got Keldeo EX uh, like a lot of the EXs back then are very nice but now as you can see like the like they started up in their quality and like the shine on the cars are just so much nicer now, but like don't get me wrong, the cars back then were still very very nice. And then we got Solgaleo or Necrozma GX, and then we also had like we got both of them of course. And uh, my cards are falling, oh man. Uh, and then we got Sylveon GX, and this is actually a very nice card. It is a promo too. I, I don't know if it shows it. No, I don't think it does show it, but it is a promo. Uh, but it is a very very nice card, and then we got uh, Zacian V Very nice promo card uh, not the best one uh, Because then we also got uh, Zamazenta because uh, of course you guys can see at the back over there We got Zacian over there, and then uh, Zamazenta over here very nice promo cards definitely one of the best ones in my personal opinion But of course we all have opinions, right? And then now we're moving away from uh, promo cards, and we got Gengar and Mimikyu tag team card 
And uh, it's actually a very, very nice card. I like it a lot. It's not my favorite, but uh, the tag team is very nice. Uh, I see Mimikyu and Gengar, but uh, overall, like, it's not a nice, like, okay, it is a nice card, but I really like the Rainbow Rare a lot more. It's a lot nicer, but, like, still, the shine, you can see the shine. It looks very, very nice. That shine, like that, ooh, oh, that actually looks so nice on camera. Wow, all right. <laughs> um, and then we're going to move on, and we got Latios and Latias uh, tag team. And this is such a nice card, honestly. Like, Latios and Latias tag team. Like, who doesn't want this card? Like, it looks beautiful. Now, there's another card that I am seeking, but um, I'm probably just going to buy it. Because I'm focusing on uh, the Champion's Path and uh, Darkness Ablaze uh, set. So, like I said, I'm, I'm just going to buy uh, the card that I'm looking for. I'm probably going to pop it up on the screen, like, maybe, like, right here. I'll, pop, I'll move this over, like, right over there, maybe, uh, <laughs> if I remember, but, um, but anyways, if you don't know, if I don't pop it up on the screen, it is basically, um, Latios and Latias forming a heart, uh, with their bodies, which is actually so cute, and I love that card, so I'm probably gonna buy that one if I get super, super unlucky in, uh, the packs, but I'm probably just gonna do it regardless, um, and then we got Articuno GX. One of my favorite looking cards too, like the shine is nice. It's not as shiny, but like when it does shine, it's like you got that little shining effect right there. Let's see if I can get the, the right angle. Come on. Oh, that's actually very nice. It looks like lightning. Damn, okay, but yeah, anyway, it's <laughs> getting a little carried away. Uh, but this is another one I have, like that one a lot. And then we got uh, Lapras V. Uh, the conditioning on this one isn't that great. Like I'll actually take it out of uh, the casing. Um, we, like as you can see over here, like we got a line of whitening, and that's just not my fault. That was sort of out of my control, because it was like that even when I opened up the pack. Uh, like it's just, I guess, a factory defect or something like that. Like the machines were just not careful. Uh, but then we got Mega Steelix EX, and we got two of them. Uh, so yeah, we got that. Uh, and then we got Thunderous, and this one holds a lot of value to me personally because this was the very first uh, full art that I got. And then we got Hoopa EX Full Art, and this also holds uh, quite a bit of value to me personally as well because this is my very first Full Art EX card. So it's very, very nice, and uh, Hoopa is a very nice card. I really like that. And then we're back to Zamazenta V, uh, but this one's not a promo, as you can see at uh, the bottom over there. If it can focus, focus, there we go. Uh, it's not a, like, this is one of the Zamazenta cards that you can get uh, from the packs if you get very lucky. Um, and then we also got Torkoal V card, or V full art, and it's such a nice card. Like, you can see the difference between the full art and uh, the not full art. Uh, the full art has a lot more shine, and uh, around the character you can see that it actually has a shine to it, not like uh, Zamazenta V over here, which doesn't have a shine around uh, the whole body. Uh, but Torkoal is a very, very nice card. I really like him. And then we got Salamance, which is the newest member to my collection. And I got him like maybe four days ago, uh, but he's not full art, of course, because like I said, you can see the difference for sure. Uh, but uh, I think he does have a rainbow rare, but I'm not 100% sure. I need to look more into that, but uh, but he's definitely a nice card to have. Uh, so now let's actually move into the card or the, the side that I'm going to be sending to PSA. And uh, I'll probably do a video in the future um, of uh, me giving like a pre grading prediction because when I send them off I'm gonna do like a little uh, grading of my own and seeing what the possible grading could be and then when we get it back then uh, I'll have a little piece of paper and then every time I pull out a card uh, we'll, we'll see uh, what the actual grade is and then we can look back at uh, what grade I gave and then we can see how close it was so I think that'll be like a little fun thing to do but anyways the first card that I have over here uh, is Hydreigon and this is actually a card I'm not gonna grade um, he is in this pile because when I get the holographic version, I will be getting him uh, graded. Uh, I think he does have a holographic version. I could imagine he does. But if not, then I mean, I'll probably just grade him anyways because Hydreigon is like my favorite dragon type in Pokemon. And uh, like literally, this is in perfect condition. I don't want to take it out because I'm scared. I don't want to mess it up and drop it. And it's like, oh, look, we got a little dent in there now. That's not going to be a 10. <laughs> Um, like this card doesn't hold any value like uh, money wise, but uh, to me it holds a lot of value So that's why I want to get this guy graded uh, Let me actually fix this up <laughs> That was a bad idea putting that right in the middle, but uh, then we have uh, Gyarados uh, This is not from the base set. It is from the evolution set. Let me get that to focus focus 
Come on, there we go. As you can see at the mark, that's the mark for uh, for the evolution pack or the evolution set. And uh, like the shine, like the holographic just looks beautiful. Like the old like generation one cards, like they just look amazing. So like I'm gonna get this one graded for sure, and that is like in very good condition. And then we have this Charizard. <laughs> like I said, this is uh, from Evolution as well. Let me focus that. It's not like the the. Uh, the first edition base set, it, it's not. <laughs> if it was, I definitely would have had it graded a long time ago. But uh, but I have this one, holographic. Uh, definitely going to get them graded for sure too. Uh, definitely in very good condition. I don't want to take any of these out of uh, the packaging, especially that one right there. Um, and then we got uh, Zekrom Full Art. And this is such a nice card. I love this card so much. I actually bought this one off of someone too. Um, it wasn't very expensive, like this card doesn't go for much at all, but, um, but it definitely is a very nice card. Like, it, like, Reshiram does have his own card like this too, it's like all white, uh, to match Zekrom, just like with, Ze uh, I mean Reshiram, just like with Zekrom, his is all black, and it just looks amazing, I love it. So I'm definitely gonna get that graded, it's not in the best conditioning, but, um, it is in decent conditioning, so like maybe at I'll probably get like a graded 8 at the very most, but, uh, anyways. We also got Blastoise and Piplup GX. One of my favorite cards, not gonna get much into it. Like, it looks very, very nice. Um, and then we got uh, Garchomp and uh, Garantina. And uh, you guys know how much I love both of these Pokemon. If you see my other Pokemon Master videos, I talk about them quite a bit, and I use Cynthia and Garchomp and Pokemon Masters quite a bit. So I definitely like this card, and it's a promo. As you can see over there, let me get it to focus. It has that little promo star. So, even though it's a promo, I'm still going to get it graded because I really, really like that card. Um, now, let me actually... There we go. And then we got Dialga GX Full Art, and it, this is such a nice card. Honestly, I probably prefer this one over the Rainbow Rare just because of the coloring on this. Like, Dialga just pops with that the blue getting lit up or it looks like it's glowing. So, it just looks very nice. And that, like, diamond background, I think it is. It just looks amazing. So, I'm definitely going to get this one graded too. Um, and then now we have Mega Venusaur EX Full Art. And uh, this one is just super nice. It's also from the uh, Evolutions pack. And the Evolutions pack, like, you, if you can see, there's only, like, 108 cards out of there. Not including, like, the, the secret rares and stuff like that. Uh, so it's a very small set. So the chances of you getting something good are pretty high. So, like, it, it's definitely a nice set to go for if you want to look for something nice. And uh, Mega Charizard is in there as well, both X and and why i think um so if you want to go for that set definitely worth it in my personal opinion but uh, mega venusaur looks very very good uh, but that's definitely going to be one that i'm going to grade for sure too as with all of them on that side <laughs> um and then now we got magikarp and will or gx rainbow rare and this is actually the very first rainbow rare that i got actually yeah it was it was okay uh, and like the Rainbow Warriors just looks so nice, but uh, but like I said, that Dialga Full Art one, it, it just looks so much nicer when it's uh, like that instead of the Rainbow Rare because the color just looks amazing on Dialga. Um, but anyways, like this is a very nice card. Like it, like the Rainbow Rares just look very very nice, and uh, I'm very very happy I got Rainbow Rares uh, in my collection. So <laughs> if you have a Rainbow Rare, then it's definitely a very rare card. Um, and then now we got two more left. And uh, both of them are Rainbow Rares. So we got Lugia Rainbow Rare. And then we have another Lugia Rainbow Rare. And uh, I really, really like this card. Like the art for Lugia Rainbow. Like it just looks amazing. And it just pops up. Like when you see this card Rainbow Rare, you're just like, that is a beast. Like, <laughs> I love this card so much. But I'm definitely going to get both of them graded. Because uh, why not? Like they're both Rainbow Rares. So like why not just get them graded? Um, But yeah. So that's going to be it for my collection. I mean, I do have more cards, but these are the ones that are like the most rare in my collection, I guess you could say. Uh, because like when I moved uh, a few years ago, I lost the box with all my Pokemon cards. So like just having um, uh, like these ones right here right now, I'm working on getting my collection even bigger. So like I'm just going to be working from this collection and uh, expand from it, which is why. I plan on doing more videos in the future and uh, doing more pack openings and stuff like that or starting pack openings. So if you guys are interested in that, like I said, let me know down in the comments below because I definitely want to be doing more Pokemon stuff related uh, just to sort of have more variation or uh, more selection on my channel 
for uh, people that subscribe and everything. Because uh, I love Pokemon. I definitely want to get into more stuff with Pokemon. So, but, let, but like I said, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you want to see more of these videos. Because I enjoy doing this. Like, this was a lot of fun. And I can only imagine how pack openings will be too. But anyways, that'll be it for the video. Hope to see you guys in more videos to come. And hope you guys uh, have a good day. And I'll see you guys later. It's always hard when the journey